specifically about decarceration. Um, if we can close some of the prisons, obviously we're saving money. And we're not doing it to take jobs away from people. That's not the goal. There'll be more jobs if you put more of the activity back in the communities directly. Exactly. And um, one thing I'll say is it, it goes back to the whole issue, like what I talked about, juvenile justice. We have to be in the business of prevention. And a number of things that, again, have to be considered are the mental health needs and the treatment alternatives and diversions program. And like you just mentioned, it's not at all about uh, about eliminating jobs. You know, there's a study that was conducted by the Department of Justice that found it, for every uh, dollar that we invest in diversion programs, we see an $8 return. And that is those are funds that can be reinvested in communities to make sure that people uh, aren't you know, dealing with job loss. I look at this the same way as I look at combating climate change. 